Today in Math World, we are talking about what is a rate. We've been talking ratios, we've been talking proportions. Today we're talking rates. What is a rate? Keegan, I know you're not sure, but it is a comparison of two related quantities. Yeah, you want to write this down. You want to get this down. It's a comparison of two related quantities, right? So two quantities that are related in some way. Often it involves time. Not always, but rates often will involve the aspect of time. Okay, so this is important to understand. A unit rate is when you bring one of the quantities down to one quantity down to one. So you bring it to the single level, right? Something per hour, per minute, right? Per liter. You're bringing it to just one. That's what we call a unit rate. One unit. This is what one unit would cost, okay? So it's a comparison of two related quantities. Often involves time. Unit rate is when you bring the one quantity back to one, okay? We want to make sure we're getting this written down. Good, good, good. We're going to go through this example here and chat just a little bit about it. Do you write down the examples? Yeah, you do. Why? Because examples are good to write down. So, we think about it like this. Question one. 350 sausages were eaten by 50 people. So we have a big breakfast. We got 50 people coming to the breakfast. We got pancakes. We got bacon. We're just looking at the sausage. We had 350 sausages. They all got eaten. 50 people were there. On average, how many sausages were, sausages were eaten per person? So we're taking it to a unit rate per one person. Right? How are we going to do that? How are we going to find the unit rate? How many sausages were one per, was just one person eating on average? Now, it could vary. Right? Like, you could have... Uh, someone who loves sausages and eats 12, and you could have someone who might add one or someone with none. But on the average, right, how are we going to find it? Jess, you're going to explain to us how we find it? I can explain it, but I can't do the math. Okay, well, I need you to explain the math portion. How did you well, figure it out? 350, divi 350 divided by 50. So we can figure it out by taking our sausage number, 350, Divide it by 50, or if we were writing this as a fraction, we could say 350 divided by 50, right? What does that equal? What is 350 divided by 50? Or how many 50s does it take to get to 350? Whoa. What's that, Niels? Seven. So if we take our total number of sausages divided by the number of people there, we're going to get seven, right? Now, this is important, this next step. This is the math for finding out how many sausages an average person would eat. This is the math part. You just take your total sausage, divide it by the people that were there, right? And that's giving you the average sausage per person, right? Once we figure that out, though, what do we have to do with word problems? Create a word. Create a word? No, nope, create a word. Like we make up our own one like Funkle, the fun uncle? Um, no. Oh, like, what do we do? Um, each person ate seven sausages. Each, so we put it into what we call a sentence. Each person ate seven sausages on average. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Beauty. There we go. Okay? Now, let's go to our second example. Mr. McCord makes three pancakes every six minutes. That's... Right? Because they have to cook. I don't want them to be mushy in the middle. I take my time. That's how I get those golden fluffy pancakes. How many pancakes could Mr. McCourt make in an hour? How are we going to figure that out? How are we going to figure out how long it takes me to make a pancake in an hour? Josie, I know that there's a thought that was just going through there. What are you thinking? I 
Do you think, are you thinking about this three pancakes in six minutes? Is that what you're thinking about? Whenever we're trying to find, we're usually, first of all, we're going to divide to find out. What we want to do is we want to find out one minute. Okay? Is that what you're thinking, Keegan? What are you thinking? I was just going to say uh, times six by ten. Oh, six so Keegan goes a different way. I, I like it, I was going to say how, find how many minutes are in an hour first. So Keegan did it like this. He said, okay, Mr. McCourt made... Uh, three pancakes in six minutes. I know that six minutes times ten equals sixty minutes. And since you did that to the bottom, you didn't do it. Thirty. Thirty. So you'd say I'd make thirty pancakes in sixty minutes. Okay. What is three divided by six? Three. Two. No. Nope. Three. I know that six divided by three is two, but what's three divided by six? So here's the other way we do this, right? We say 3 divided by 6, or 3 divided by 6, and that equals 0.5. So that says in one minute, Mr. McCourt makes 0.5 pancakes, or he makes a half a pancake every minute. In order for us to find an hour, we would times 0.5 by what? How many minutes in an hour? So if we take our 0.5 times 60, or half, times 60, it equals 30. So we can find out how many pancakes in a minute, multiply it by how many minutes to make an hour, and it gives us this. These are two different ways, but both correct ways to find the rate of pancakes per hour. Okay? So... Mr. McCourt would cook 30 pancakes, oh, I'm getting hungry, in one hour, right? Mr. McCourt would cook 30 pancakes in one hour. We're going to do one more example here. We've already been recording for seven minutes and 35 seconds. Awesome. But we're going to do one more, okay? And it's kind of like a two-part question but we're going to go through it so we're going to look at this question mr shakel invests a hundred dollars so he's taking a hundred dollars of his hard-earned money and he's going to invest it for one month in the one month he makes three dollars on it so he invests it and his hundred dollars now becomes a hundred and three dollars what is mr shakel's interest rate for the month what do you mean? interest rates are usually in a percentage right so we know that for every $100, Mr. Shakel is making how much? How much is Mr. Shakel going to make? $3. He makes $3 for every 100 right? So his $100 turns into 103 Does that make sense to everyone? Yes. So now how do we write this? Does it go up by every day? Or? Well, it, it goes by month. <laughs> Right? It's going up by month. So he makes $3 for every $100, right? $3 for every $100. What, what, how can we write that as a percent? If you got three out of 100 on a test, 3%. So his interest rate is 3%. Okay? <laughs> Now, three percent as an interest rate isn't bad. It's not a terrible interest rate. Uh, you're going to make, obviously, for this hundred dollars, you're going to make three percent. Let's say you invested three hundred dollars. How much are you now going to make? Uh, You'd make nine dollars, right? Still 3%, oh, yeah. still 3%, but you're making $9, so $309. What about if we, um, instead of $100, he invested $1,000? How much does Mr. Shakel make? Huh? No. $300? Instead of 3%, it's, how many zeros did we add? 
He'll make. Oh. oh, it only goes up. It only changes by the number of zeros it has. If he invests. Three hundred. He's going to make three hundred dollars a month. Three thousand. Nope. What's this one going to be? Let's say we change this. That's a hundred thousand. I can change. Let's say he invests a million dollars. A million dollars. What's a million? How many is he gonna do it? Oh, he makes thirty thousand on the hundred dollars. He'd make thirty thousand on a million dollars, right? So we can see, right, that. His interest rate, while 3%, you can make, obviously, more money with more money invested, right? And if we think about that for one month, he's made $3. How much, if it continues to the exact same interest rate, same thing, $100, how much should he make in a year? close we would think 36 right for the year he'd make 36 dollars now remember though if he's investing each year his hundred dollars is changing right so it actually would become more than that because after the first month he has 103 dollars now and and that money then so it, it compounds or it adds up Right, so that that invested money grows and gets bigger each time. Okay, but here we've got interest rate. The rate is per hundred. Here we have uh, pancakes making a minute or an hour, and here we've got sausages eaten by fifty people. We bring it down to sausages eaten per person. So these become our rates and. We have, a, we have a rate given to us in the questions, and then we can take it down to the unit rate per person, per hour, right, per month, and we can take it to those unit rates. Uh, we're going to have some practice questions today around word problems. It is important that we use uh, sentences to answer our word problem questions. Yeah, one.